This week marked 16 years since the passing of music legend Lucky Dube. His former record label, Gallo Music, will celebrate him with a curated selection of music in his honor over the next two weeks. This also as the box play its semi-finals against England at the Rugby World Cup in France. Similarly to back in 2007 when they won the World Cup two days after his passing. A victory today will be seen as a benefiting tribute to the legend and his message of of inclusivity. We speak now to Gallo Music product manager Goodwill Ngona. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this morning. Perhaps let's go to your first encounter um, with Babu Dube. Um, what do you remember about the first time you met him? Uh, Lucky Dube had this aura around him uh, that was, you could see that is a superstar. He was very quiet uh, in the office, and, and everybody knew that he is around the office. I remember when he performed at one of the events that Gallo had. It was a small stage, and yet Lucky Dube gave it his all. I mean, it was like he was performing for kings, even though we're just mere mortals in, in his eyes. So my experience of uh, meeting him was uh, a pleasant one, I have to say. It's a mere mortal in the eyes of many, also on the continent, right? Because you'll go maybe to West Africa and some countries, and people, when you say you're a South African, they'll ask you, what happened with um, Lucky Dube? They still play his music, and that's how much he is revered. What was the appeal with him? I think it was his storytelling. Um, I mean, like, he started his music singing Maskandi, but he found reggae to be his way of talking, his message uh, for everybody in the world. And, and his storytelling resonated with people from the Caribbean. I mean, he taught the USA, he taught the UK with the likes of Peter Gabriel, he taught Japan. Um, um, and, and, and that's the reason why I think so many people around the world know about Lucky Do. I mean, even currently, uh, if you look at his Spotify numbers, he's got uh, over 800,000 followers currently. And people are still following him and, and listening to his music. Mm. What of the messages that are contained in the music? It could very well be argued that some are quite prophetic and can speak to life in 2023. No, most definitely. I mean, I think if Lucky was with us today, I know he's with us in spirit. Uh, when you look at how the Springboks are today, compared to what they were uh, when he did Different Colors, One People. That was in 1993, actually. The album, Victims, is turning 30 this year. And that is 30 years ago. He wanted people to be together. Uh, he, he, he spoke about respect. Uh, he sang songs like Together as One. Um, so Lucky Pube was about that. Even though he came from, obviously, from a historic, our country and its history, but he had that positivity of looking at life in, in a way that we all want to live that life of togetherness, of, of, of respecting people's cultures, religion, uh, sexuality. And, and that was Lucky Dube. And I think that's why so many people resonated with him. And when we speak of the commemoration this week, or the next two weeks rather, perhaps you can share that with our viewers as well. <laughs> what we've been doing, we've been doing uh, what we're doing now uh, with yourselves, and thank you so much for having us and helping us to tell the story of Lucky Dube as well. Uh, we do appreciate. Uh, we do have his YouTube channel up and running, and, and this is how we continue to make sure that his fans can find his music. We are on this project now where we are putting together lyric videos just in case people uh, want to, uh, you know, when you have those lyrics, make it easy for you to follow uh, so you can check out his YouTube page. Uh, we also are curating about 20 of his best songs uh, onto Spotify as well and other digital platforms and continue to talking to radio and sampling radio and, and basically telling the story of Lucky Dube and continue to, rem to remind people of uh, what a great man he was. Okay, so in terms of the top, uh, is top 20, top 30 songs? It will be top 20 songs, yes. Okay, so um, what is the selection process? Because um, maybe let's play a little bit of trivia and you can tell us if this one will be on the top 20. Um, the policeman said to me, son, they won't build no schools anymore. All they'll build will be prison, prison. Prison. Uh, that definitely will be that right there on top as well. Uh, Remember Me will be right there as well. Different colors, one people. Uh, the one song that I, 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 I like, I love, but uh, we have a love-hate relationship with uh, Lika Slave. 
but it will definitely be there. <laughs> because the first time I heard the song Slave, I really thought it was talking about politics. And then I, I, I took a listen to the song and I realized, oh, Lucky Dube is talking about uh, addiction. And, and he doesn't want to be addicted anymore. Uh, the one that I love the most for myself is, is, is the way it is. Uh, most people and his friends, they, they love songs like um, I Think About the Children, which came from his first album, I think, in 1987 or 1988, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, those are the songs that uh, Song Selection that you'll be finding. Okay. Are uh, you in collaboration with his family, his children who are still alive? Yeah, no, definitely. We are in collaboration uh, with his family, uh, the Lucky Dube Legacy. You can check out his Facebook as well, uh, where we continue telling his story, the awards that he won. Um, as I mentioned earlier, his tours overseas. So we're trying to tell that story in collaboration with them. And, and I think the digital space gives us that opportunity to retell the stories because most of the stories were in print. Uh, and, and the family actually are the ones who came to us and said, do you know that in 2007, this is what happened? And, and that, this is what triggered us talking about um, his impact. Even Tabo Mbeki made comments at the time of his passing. As you can see, how important Lucky like Dube was. Uh, Paulo Jordan, uh, as, an, uh, as an culture minister at the time, uh, uh, was said in by his passing as well. So these are the stories that the family bring to us, and we are bringing it into uh, the audiences out there. All right. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this morning. Gallo Music Product uh, Manager there, Mr. Goodwill Nguna.